And the best part of being the second speaker is the first speaker mostly covers the whole, the whole area of discussion. So Professor, thank you very much. Uh, I could see the excitement, uh, I could see the passion, and I could see the energy that emanated from your speech. And I'm sure that we, the project team is headed in the right direction when it comes to nutrition for our people. Um, so again, please, um, I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the ministry to this uh, inaugural uh, national symposium with the focus of nutrition and food security. And uh, we will also be launching a special nutrition edition of the Fiji Journal of the Public Health and, of course, the My, My Kana app, which you've heard about. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before I move on, um, this is something that I'd like to share. A professor mentioned that um, the rising levels of NCDs, nutrition issues are, are crazy. It's affecting us big time. Okay, it's a crisis. I think most of you would agree it's a crisis and as mentioned by, um, sorry, um, Atheda, sorry, Atheda Kama. Uh, the fact that uh, not everybody smokes, not everybody drinks, not everybody exercises, but everybody eats. And that's where this um, issue of taking our nutrition serious comes in place. Recently we have been having some symposiums and launching a few things which talks about uh, tackling NCDs and of course how do you promote nutrition. So on one side we have malnutrition which leads to stunting in our children. On the other side we have obesity which leads to other diseases that you know. The, 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 the whole issue here is how do we strike a balance in that? How do we strike a balance? And this is symposiums such as this, projects such as this, um, people such as you. We, we rely on you to come up with solutions for our people. And of course local issues need to have local solutions. Okay. So thank you very much for taking your time out and being here this morning. I'm sure you will have great discussions from your, your speakers and of course the outcomes uh, of your symposium must indeed translate into real actions at the ground level if we are to make any, <coughs> any difference. So ladies and gentlemen, Fiji, coming back to Fiji in the Pacific, uh, we, we, we face a number of challenges in the key areas of nutrition as well as food security. And I'm sure the whole morning would be plagued up with discussions on that. And as, again, mentioned, taking these challenges and finding solutions will require us to work together in a concerted effort across government ministries, civil society organizations, faith-based organizations, the private sector, international and region, regional agencies, and, of course, all our partners. You all are aware that good nutrition is vital for optimal health. And this nutrition symposium is all about discussing, sharing ideas, working together to explore how we can achieve sustainable nutrition and enhance our nation's food security. As the minister responsible for health and medical services, um, I would like us all, um, I'd like to plead to us all that we should be determined to use opportunities such as this to make the necessary difference we need to uh, make. Um, and the necessary changes and improvements that will improve the lives, not only ourselves, but our people and the future generation. There's a lot of, lot of focus on improving the health and nutrition of our children. Of course, that's very important. But many a times I have taken the opportunity to emphasize on the fact that we also need to be mindful of our own health, our own nutrition, and our own lifestyles. It's very important. And change must start from us if we want change to filter down to our families and, and to our fellow people as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the Global Decade for um, Nutrition 2016 uh, to 2025 has provided us with a clear agenda for positive changes in the areas of nutrition and food security. Those changes will be also be key factors in our efforts to meet our sustainable development goals by the target date of 2030. And I'm impressed to see the, the poster having all, those, all our SDGs. The results of our National Nutrition Survey in 2015 show some improvements, however, new challenges continue to emerge where we need to work together to find solutions. One of the core messages that I would like the members of this symposium to appreciate is how essential nutrition and food security is for sustainable and inclusive development. Nutrition and food security are both as a precondition for and also as an outcome of, of development. National food security are also indicators of whether development is really inclusive and sustainable, whether our population is resilient to the effects of climate change and natural disasters, and whether research in health and agriculture has actually helped us to improve the lives and livelihoods of our vulnerable population. 
I understand that there are altogether eight panels uh, in this symposium and they will be highlighting the role that nutrition and food security play in addressing nutritional status, dietary patterns and nutrition trends, child health and health promoting schools, emergencies and non-communicable diseases. Um, throughout the symposium, I'm sure you'll also hear from our international and regional, regional agencies how they are scaling up and supporting nutrition interventions in Fiji and the academic perspectives from our colleagues at the Fiji National University and the University of the South Pacific. Nutrition research provides an important contribution to policy decisions and frameworks for action and like I said, policies and frameworks and outcomes must translate into real actions at the ground level. Interventions also required on nutrition and food safety are evidence-based and multi-sectorial if we are to find local solutions to our local problems. This, ladies and gentlemen, National Symposium marks a number of firsts. One, it is a first of its kind in itself. A second, it marks the publication of the first edition of the Fiji Journal of Public Health to be dedicated to nutrition. And of course, the launch of MyKana app, the first such app in nutrition and health design in Fiji, specifically for Fijians. Recently, when we, when we launched the um, Eliminate Dengue program with our foreign minister, uh, Julie Bishop from Australia, we had some Australian innovators in the country. We're very much impressed by their innovations when it comes to food, nutrition, and tackling the emergence of new diseases. But I'm so proud that here we have in our room our own local innovators. Um, uh, um, uh, minister Bishop mentioned that um, uh, what, what the, the whole idea of innovations was to get the smart people in Australia together to develop these innovations. But I'm, I'm, I'm equally proud to say that Fiji is no less. We have our own smart people here who have developed a local app for our local people. And I'd like us to put our hands together for, for this project team that has, um, has progressed to this. So, Yes, we have a lot of people. We need to capitalize on uh, the capacities that exist within within Fiji. And uh, uh, like I said, it's, it's need a proud moment for Fiji as well. So thank you, all our partners, FNU, University, Ministry of Health and staff, and all those who have been involved in this. Um, and uh, so congratulations to the organizing committee for the symposium. Congratulations to the contributors of the National, uh, sorry, Nutritional Journal. And Congratulations to the collaborative effort between the University of the South Pacific and the Ministry of Health and Medical Services and all our partners who have been part uh, of this. Again, um, particularly, like I said, excited by the MyKana app. While I cannot claim any great level of exp expertise in the world of smartphones, apps, and social media, I gather that having the app on your phone or tablet is similar to having your own very personal dietitian along with you um, all the time. So it can tell you whether you're eating the right things, as mentioned by uh, Professor, or need to reduce this or increase intake of that. So indeed, this innovation is commended uh, by the government of the day. And I'm co conf confident that the data the MyKana app will yield will also assist the uh, National Food and Nutrition Center and the project team in gaining a better understanding of the nutritional intakes of Fiji's population. So ladies and gentlemen, we need to build on the momentum generated by this symposium today to make nutrition and food security a priority for our agenda. And of course, we need to maintain the profile of nutrition and food security to ensure strong leadership, to consider ways to strengthen and re-energize linkages, partnership, governance, and accountability in this vital area. So before I conclude, this is, the, I think, the third or fourth symposium where I have shared this experience. Um, um, some of you might have heard me saying that. But when it comes to having pride in our country, um, we love, we just love to hear Fiji. Wherever I go, I just love to tell people I'm from Fiji and this is what Fiji is all about. But there are certain areas where we really are not recognized in, in that uh, positive uh, manner and at a global front. So, P.S. is smiling, he knows what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. So at the, the Commonwealth Health Ministers meeting in Geneva, um, there was a discussion. And so Fiji's name was mentioned. And like I was, I was so excited when I heard Fiji. I thought, they're going to talk about our victorious rugby team. They're going to talk about our, our, our winner trio. But, but sadly, actually, very sadly, uh, when Fiji's name was mentioned, it was mentioned that Fiji ranks as one of the, one of the countries in the Pacific with the highest rates of NCDs. And, and that's an issue for us, and I'm sure NCDs are also related to nutrition. 
So we need to really, like let's say, scaling up nutrition and security, food security in Fiji to ensure that we tackle this. And then I thought that was enough, but what was to come was another Fiji mentioned by another speaker. So again, when Fiji is mentioned, I look up and I smile to myself. I think I was trying to look for where PS was sitting. But then it was mentioned that we have one of the highest rates of domestic violence in the country. So these are the issues that we need people like you, um, everybody, to be mindful of the fact that, that if, we, if we are to progress on, on a forward manner, then we need to tackle this. And NCDs is a priority. Tackling NCDs is a priority. No, We cannot be continuing to blame this and blame that and blame that. Everybody needs to come together. We need to pool our resources. We need to get data. We need to see how we can find solutions to our local problems. So, um, like I said, this is an inaugural symposium and uh, very much thankful to the partnerships of all our, all our agencies here present, uh, especially to the students. I believe that we have a lot of students and I'm sure that we all will pay, play our part in becoming the agents of change that we're looking. We need to champion healthy, healthy living. If you look across the room, you have the app there, growing your own food, very simple things. When it comes to food, it's just very simple, making the right choices. We live in a tropical country where it's possible to grow our own nutritious food. You, go, look, you walk across the markets, whether it's on a Saturday or a Monday morning, our markets are full of local, fresh and healthy foods. So ladies and gentlemen, all in all, what we need to do is to make the right choices. We need to create more advocacy at the grassroots level and I'm, I'm so glad that the Minister of Health and Minister of Education have, have started this um, advocacy within our children and, uh, and, and I believe the children would be able to change the mindsets of the, of the elder members within the homes, what is put on the table, what goes in your, in your shopping basket, that's all, all very important. So all in all, if we, are make, if, we are, if we are to make successful breakthroughs in these issues that we are currently facing, uh, we will need to work together, of course. We need funding and stuff. We need government interventions. We need other agencies to come on board. So thank you very much, and I wish you all a very, very successful symposium. And I do look forward to uh, learning about the, the outcomes of this symposium and the best way forward. So thank you very much, and God bless.